Hey guys, what is up? It's Card Shuffler 99 here today. I'm going to show you guys a pretty cool trick, but before that, make sure you check out all of our social media in the description below. Hit that like button, subscribe button, and notification button so the second we post, you guys can check us out. Also, there will be a link in the description for free my apps. Click that link down for apps, and you guys can get free gift cards. Also, credit to our guy, the man, the myth, the legend, Jay Sankey. Make sure you check out his channel for this pretty cool trick. Anyways, let's get into it. So, Adam, we're going to start with this trick by having you select a card but we want to have you select a card in a little bit of a different way if you didn't know this is called the hindu shuffle and it's very popular but one of the reasons i don't like it is as you can clearly see the cards are face up so i would know exactly what card you are selecting we're going to have you select a little a card in a different way so over here i have some napkins what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place the napkins on top of the deck now adam what I want you to do is lift up anywhere you'd like on the deck. Get a feel for the deck first and okay. lift up wherever you would like. Just straight up, all right? Wherever you would like. Right there? Right you there. sure? Yep. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place your selected card right there. Now, Adam. Not a space. Not a space. That's a very nice selection. We're going to go ahead, wrap this up, and place this to this side. Now, it's very interesting that you selected the nine of spades out of all the cards in the deck. Because if we just give our fingers a little bit of a snap, we can actually show you that all of the cards in the deck will actually change to red. And you selected the only blue card in the deck. That is the trick, guys, and let's learn how to do it. So, once again, credit to our man, Jay Sag. He's a really cool guy. Make sure you check out his channel. All right. And, yeah, let's get into it. So. What you're going to need for this trick, um, you're going to need some type of cloth, all right? And it cannot be see-through. So let's say you don't have a cloth for some reason. You can use a towel or you can use anything, you know, anything that's not see-through. So if you have a decent amount of napkins like we do here, you can just use this. So that's pretty simple. That's what you're going to need for this trick. So you will need a bunch of nap napkins because if you just use one, as you can see right here, you can clearly see through it. So make sure you use a decent amount of napkins so you cannot see through it. And I would, I would suggest that the cloth is pretty large because it will have to cover some moves during the trick. And uh, you guys, you do finish actually 100% clean when, you're, uh, when you finish the trick. Like they can actually look through all the cards and see that the only card they selected was blue. And yeah, let's get into the setup. So yeah, once you get your cloth ready or whatever you're going to be using, that's not see-through and it's you know somewhat large. All right, even if it's small, you can still use it. It just might be a little tougher to do some of the moves. So we're gonna and also make sure it's not too thick because if it's too thick, the spectator will actually not be able to, to grip on the cards because we try we tried a towel that was way too thick and uh, Adam couldn't get a grip on the cards. They kept on falling. So make sure they can get a good grip on you know the cards when they're lifting up. So here's what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a card box, and you're gonna need one card that goes with the color of the card box, and the rest of the deck will be a completely different color. So in this case, I chose a blue bicycle deck. I took one blue bicycle deck card, and all you're gonna do is you're gonna place this on top of a different colored deck. Now it doesn't have to be these colors, but I do suggest that the card um, looks like the card from the the other deck. So, for example, if I take a card from the, let's say, an Artifice deck, you can clearly see the difference between these cards. I do not suggest that. I suggest that they look, you know, similar. They can be different backs, but they have similar designs with, you know, I guess you could say the front. So, make sure that that's pretty important right there so that the trick actually makes somewhat of, you know, some sense. And yeah, this is your setup. The colored card that goes with the card box will go on top, and the rest of the deck is a different color. Now, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go ahead and place this into the box, and that's how you're gonna start off the trick. So you have a place in the box. Now, when you open up the box to start off the trick, I do not recommend opening up with the card on the blue side for a couple of reasons because when you I don't know if you guys have ever done this before but you probably have when you sometimes take a card out of a card box it can get a little messy all right if you don't grip the cards carefully so what I like to do is to just to save some time and you know not mess up I actually just take the cards out face up and make sure the cards are squared up because if you do let's say 
let's say just you know they're not met like they're messy like this it can flash which you don't want to happen because they're gonna be questioning you why you you know why are some of the cards red so simple way to solve this just take the cards out of the card box base up once you're done this I like to swipe the cards and show that you know the card the cards blue you know the cards are blue just give them a quick flash like that and say we're gonna have you select a card now make sure I like to have the blue side facing so it really stands out that this is really a blue deck right you know you see all the blue you know it's, it's got to be a blue deck right what you're gonna do is to even convince them a little more you're gonna do something called a Hindu shuffle now it's not very hard it doesn't have to be exactly a clean Hindu shuffle because you can actually clean it up by doing a simple move so start off your Hindu, Hindu shuffle just like this by peeling off some cards If you don't know how to do it you just take some cards Use your middle finger and thumb, take off some cards, and just you're just gonna drop them onto your hand, just like this. All right, you guys get the point. So basically, you're gonna start doing a Hindu shuffle, just like this. And you know, after you do, you know, a couple, maybe four, you're gonna go ahead and square this up and show the back. This will help convince that the cards are blue. Now, the reason why you go like this and square them up is for a good reason. Watch this, right? So let's say I'm going through, right? And let's say the cards get a little messy and I show the back. Red card. You just took an out. You you took an out. Alright, so make sure you do not do that. Now, what you're gonna do, right? You're gonna hinge your shuffle, you stop at some point, square up the cards, show the back, and go ahead and do that one more time. Really convince them that the cards are blue. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place the rest of the cards. If you want to do it the simple way, you just place these cards on the bottom, just like that. And that will just bring the blue card back to the top, which is what you need. But if you want to do it my way, you could actually simply just go here. And you can get a break right under the blue card. And just simply do a double undercut and say, we'll actually give the cards a little mix up too. Just like that. All right. And you can do double undercut and cut this card to the top. All right. So what you're going to do from here, pretty simple. It, so this is what you're going to do. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna say we're gonna have you select a card in a special way. And one reason you're you're gonna say you know I don't like to do the Hindu shuffle. You can see the cards face up. Make sure you do mention that. That will help with your reasoning. So go ahead, take your cloth, and what you're gonna do? Make sure you do not put the deck down because as you can see there, the cards can easily flash. So make sure your deck is always neat, and I like to keep it in my hand. So once you grab your cloth, if you want to say that, what you're gonna do is. For this first move right right here, you're gonna take the card, you're gonna take the cloth or napkins, and you're gonna put it over the cards. When you're doing this, once you start to cover the cards right around here, that you guys can't see the cards anymore, you're just gonna do a quick flip of the cards just like that. So I'm gonna come around here and show you guys real quick what it looks like from my angle. So I'm here, and I'm gonna, so the spectators like, let's say right there, I'm here, and then you guys are going to get a little exposed view. I'm going to go like that and then put the knack in it and square it up on the deck like that. So that is the first move. All right, that's very simple. You're here. You're flipping the cards, but make sure the napkin's covering it. So you, I start flipping right now. And then I go ahead and square up, you know, the cards on the napkin. Then what you're going to do from here is very simple. You're going to go ahead and lift up. And you're going to ask the spectator to get a feel for the cards and they can they can uh, lift up wherever they would like you know you can actually let them feel it they can actually get a feel for it they can lift up wherever they would like and this is going to be the situation you are in you're gonna be in a situation like this right here what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to flip these cards over once they lift up in your hand just like that just like that and you're gonna flip them over like that and make sure the cards are squared up you're gonna be doing this just like this just like that but that's gonna be under the card mat so you're here right you're gonna flip it over they have no idea what's happening because they're not gonna they're not gonna feel it so you're here they lift up you flip this on over under the card mat just like this and then you're gonna show them the card is blue right from here it's pretty simple all you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead do a quick wrist kill and you're gonna push the card off place it face down you're gonna go ahead bring these under back under and what you're gonna do instead of flipping them back over like this you're gonna leave them face up and you're gonna put them back face up too you can wrap these up all right you guys get the point from there you're gonna give your fingers a little snap 
And what you can do is you can show them that all the cards have changed to red and there is only one card blue and it's their selected card, E9 of space. So thank you guys so much for watching this card shuffler. Nah, nah, peace out.